Your eye factor is on tonight. Are these actually Watergate-esque? No, they're not. <laughs> a Watergate was a constitutional crisis of the highest order. Not so fast. The IRS investigation is just beginning, and things are looking very shaky for the federal government. We'll advance the story tonight with Bob Woodward. Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. Is the IRS scandal like Watergate? That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. First off, a clarification. Talking Points is not linking the IRS scandal to the White House. We are not implying, insinuating, hinting, or doing anything else other than reporting the facts. And so far, we've been dead on. Last week, we told you that former IRS Chief Douglas Shulman visited the Obama White House 157 times, far more than any other department head. And it wasn't even close. Logically, we asked the White House to explain those meetings. With whom did Mr. Shulman chat? And what was the subject on all 157 occasions? Any honest reporter would ask that question, and the White House should provide the answer immediately. Incredibly, before my analysis last Thursday, there were no mentions last week of Mr. Shulman's abundant visits to the White House on CNN, on ABC, on CBS, or on NBC. None, nada, zip. That is what's called a news blackout. Because everybody knows the IRS is under scrutiny for admitting it targeted conservative groups and individuals. So if the IRS boss visits the White House 157 times, that's a big story. Now, it would be wrong for any honest reporter to lay the IRS scandal at the feet of President Obama. At this point, there's no evidence that he's involved. But there is evidence that his deputies are involved, and we could be repeating history. On June 17, 1972, some thugs broke into the Democratic National Headquarters at the Watergate Hotel in Washington. Two days later, the Washington Post began reporting on the Watergate story. 26 months later, President Richard Nixon was forced to resign. It took more than two years to flesh out the entire Watergate mess. Now, again, I'm not saying the current IRS scandal is Watergate, but I am saying we should aggressively investigate the story and not come to the conclusion that Tom Brokaw has. With uh, the AP and the IRS scandals, we hear the word Watergate thrown around a lot. Are these actually Watergate-esque? No, they're not. <laughs> a Watergate was a constitutional crisis of the highest order. Uh, uh, a lot of the president's men went to jail. The president himself lied. Uh, he destroyed tapes, it's pretty clear to me. Now, the sad truth is that some supporters of President Obama don't want to know the truth. And it was the same way back in 1972. Even when Nixon quit, about 30% of the country didn't want him to. But it all comes back to honest reporting. And in 2013, the situation's much bleaker on that front than it was in 1972. Back then, the press reviled President Nixon. Today, much of it reveres President Obama. And that's the memo. Now, for the top story tonight, reaction, joining us from D.C., Bob Woodward, who, along with Carl Bernstein, drove the Watergate story for The Washington Post. Comparisons to the IRS right now, Mr. Woodward, are there any? Uh, certainly, it's part of the government. The, this fiction that somehow it's totally an independent agency uh, is absurd. Uh, when George Shultz was the Treasury Secretary for Nixon and the IRS Commissioner at the time, Johnny Walters, came to see Shultz and said, the White House wants me to audit this list of Democrats. You know what George Shultz did? He said, if they want me to do that, they can get a new Treasury Secretary. He refused to do it. Clearly, in the pipeline, lots of people knew some of this or should know it. And uh, I, I agree, this needs to be investigated. But you know who should lead the investigation? President Obama in the White House put out his version of all of these things. Uh, I have found in recent weeks they still respond to questions. You say they aren't answering this question about the 157 visits by the IRS commissioner. They should. They should get on top of this sure. story. I mean, we all know that that would go a long way to stop wasting taxpayer time and government uh, money, I should say, and government time. Look, we got serious things to talk about here. We got the economy, Obamacare, immigration reform, and yet now everybody's locked in on this. And it doesn't take a long time, as you well know. Everybody who goes into the White House is logged in. Uh, and we're going to talk to Carl Rove about this coming up. They all are logged in. They all 
are written down who they talk to, how much time they spend there. So that President Obama could easily come out through his spokesperson and say, this is where Mr. Shulman was. Here are the dates. Here's who he met with. This is what was discussed. That's simple. The fact that the president doesn't do it should raise the curiosity of every reporter, Mr. Woodward, every reporter. Yet, as I said, the major network news on television ignored the story last week in its totality. It's amazing. Well, I'm going to, I'll put in a request on it, and I have found them uh, responsive to these things. Uh, and as, as I've said, they're not yet in the bunker, uh, that the answers are forthcoming sometimes it, it takes a long time but here's why uh, they're not doing it in my opinion with all due okay. respect because there's no pressure on them to do it this is a totally different environment than when you and bernstein were running around well, but you well, got but flack the, you got flack when, when, <laughs> and got so did Bradley. Flack. yeah you guys got pressure but the journalistic community was behind you that's one of the reasons i'm sitting here today was because of what you did with watergate i wanted to be an investigative reporter and indeed did do a lot of that because but, i wanted in, what fa you did. In, in fact, Bill, I mean, I lived through this. Uh, people did not believe what we wrote for a long time. Uh, the, Nixon won a massive re-election in 1972, and everyone was kind of saying Watergate is over. But not the uh, it's journalistic incredible. community. The journalistic community. Oh, yes, the community, journalistic community. Only I the tell people you, in the tank. Well, All, you know that. Only the people in the tank. <laughs> the other people... Um, well, you were kicking the New York Times' butt, so they were playing catch-up. But when you had a revelation, it got out. Now, I don't know if there's a desire to know. I really don't. Uh, on well, the let's, part of the let's establishment hope there media. is, because, because much hangs in the, the balance here, not just the reputation of the news media for aggressiveness and in some form of neutrality, but the whole relationship that the White House and the government has with the public about trust. And you know there is deep, deep suspicion about this White House in many quarters, and it isn't just from your network or uh, the right wing or the conservatives. Lots of people are asking questions. That's right. I think, I think Obama can get ahead of this and really answer some of these he questions. Could. But if but if he takes the position, oh, this is all politics and this is a sideshow as he no, has. No, no, but there's one um, other Benghazi. element there. If he take if he gets ahead of it as you're encouraging him to do, and so am I, he's got to fire a few people and he don't want to do that. Well, well you, you and have. I both know there were people inside our White House that knew exactly what the IRS was doing. I'll give you the last I, word. I, I, I don't know that, and but I suspect it, and I think we we should get answers on this. But uh, you know, this this it, the, one of the things you learn uh, doing this for 40 years is, and I, I agree, this is not Watergate at all. But the road to Watergate is concealment, is not coming clean and just say, oh, well, we won't have to release that memo. We won't have to let so-and-so testify. Let's call executive yeah. privilege. Let's stonewall. And uh, if they do that, they will dig themselves in a hole. And uh, I think they have the moral and intellectual capacity to stop that. Well, we'll see. We will see. Got to come up pretty fast. Got to come up pretty fast, so we will see. Fair. We appreciate you coming on tonight. Thank you. Thank you.